A pedophile behind more than 900 rapes on five school children in his care has been jailed for 22 years and six months. Viktor Lashavsky, 37, from Russia, who was the children's legal guardian, treated them as sex slaves, a court heard. The foster father pleaded guilty to all charges but refused to give evidence at his closed-door trial in Komsomolsk on Amur in the Russian Far East. Lashavsky is believed to be the worst convicted pedophile in Russian history. As the former head of an evangelical church in the town of Amursk, Lashavsky, who ran a shoe repair shop, was a respected man that many considered a model foster father. He was found guilty of more than 900 counts of rape and violent sexual acts, mostly against girls aged 13 or under in his care. He will serve his sentence in a strict regime penal colony, after which he will face another two years where he will be unable to leave the town where he lives. He was also banned from working with children for a further two decades after his release. Lashavsky was caught after a five-year reign of sexual terror when one of the girls confided in her foster mother Olga who had been entirely unaware of his abuse, the judge was told. Other victims then corroborated the accusations against him. Lashavsky and his wife had three children of their own and fostered nine more. He was found guilty of raping minors, including acts committed with particular cruelty, and forcing his underage victims to commit acts of a sexual nature using the children's material dependency on him as a foster father, according to a statement from the court. He was also convicted of indecent acts without using violence against girls under 16 years old, torture, and improper performance of responsibilities for raising a minor along with the cruel treatment with a minor. State prosecutor Tatyana Filatova said, none of the girls complained because each considered him a father. Some told each other about what had happened, but they were not in a hurry to complain to their mother. The children were taken from an orphanage and none of them wanted to lose their family. They finally had both a mom and dad. After discussing everything among themselves, one of the girls said that she was not afraid of her father and would tell everything to her foster mother. The mother, in turn, went to the police. The prosecutor said, all these years, the adoptive mother did not see anything because she often was in hospital with her son. In court, they tried not to go deep into the details of the crimes in order not further harm the victims. Lashavsky was accused of 248 charges of rape, 358 violent sex acts against girls aged 13 or under, 11 charges of rape where he threatened murder or serious harm, 122 crimes of a sexual nature with the use of violence or threat of violence, 151 charges of sexual intercourse taking advantage of the helpless state of the victim. One local newspaper branded him a pedophile sex monster, while Ren TV said the girls were his personal harem. One outlet wrote, with the money that the government paid him as a foster parent, he rented an apartment where he had sex with either one or another foster daughter every other day or every third day. The man was paid £265 a month by the state to care for each of the five adolescent girls he abused.
Officials in the Khabarovsk region of eastern Russia are said to be deeply shocked over the allegations against a man they viewed as a model foster father. The court heard that he was thought to be respectable. Ali Kuznetsova, education minister in the region, said the foster parents had passed repeated inspections by social services. She said, in the case of this family, there were no alarms at all. In the first year there were five inspections. In subsequent years, two checks annually, she said.